welcome back, everybody. We um, gonna start episode three on Let's Play Roll or the. Excuse me, can't speak tonight. Uh, let's role play Skyrim. Um, so last we left off, Tadriel made himself a companion, and um, so we're gonna see what adventures they get into. But uh, I'm gonna get up here and we're gonna we're gonna go see what's up with Tadriel. Alright, are you about ready to venture off? It's alright. It's nice and early. All right, let me sit here real quick. Make sure we're all good to go. All right. Good. Are you sure you're good to go? You don't want anything to eat. All right. Let's make our way to right White Run then. Ah, oh, nice clear day. It's beautiful out. Perfect day for traveling. Don't you agree? Alrighty. Alright, let me look at this map Hadval gave me. Alright, I believe this is Whiterun, is what he said. And, um, looks like we can just take the road to the northwest or more so north of Riverwood follow it right down and then take a hard west turn before we cross what I believe would be the second bridge and walk right up into White Run as so I'm pretty familiar with that area after my hunt the other day are you still coming? All right. Oh, you didn't. You're not much of a packer. You just came to Skyrim with the clothes on your back, did you? That's all right with me. I've got your back. I'm just gonna pause one second and uh, get her where I need to get because she's a um, she's a healing companion and um, when I was playing around on my other uh, save file um, whenever you'd get the uh, the disease or debuff whatever you want to call it for um, not yes. eating or not drinking she would actually dispel it so you have to set her to okay so I'll set her to heal me As whenever it's needed and then yes healing cure. I'll cure my um, own diseases. All right. That way she doesn't take away from needing to eat. Lead on. But alright, let's get back into it. Oh blast it. This is what it means of course it would rain. Five minutes after I said what a beautiful day. Alright. We may need to take up a little bit of a shelter before we make it to White Run. I don't know though, the weather's not too cold. So I think we might be alright. Are you having difficulties? I could slow down if you'd like. Shh, hold on, hold on. Pull back, pull back. Oh, it's it's a long. I'm not a thief. I promise. It's um, it's a, a bit of a long story. Um, the Imperials had picked me up and tried to pin me as being a storm cloak, which I guess this nation is in a is in a bitter civil war right now. And uh, between the Imperials and the storm cloaks, I don't know the backstory. And don't necessarily care, but but they tried to have me beheaded. We'll put it at that. And Hadvar said he could help clear my name, but I just would rather play it safe for right now until I have time to visit him up in solitude. So just don't want us to run into any trouble. And I apologize. 
I think we're clear. So, okay. I believe that is White Run. Those are the fellows that downed that giant. Got, must have made camp there. Can you eat a giant, I wonder? If that's what they're doing. Oh, I don't know. I've read that White Run is the trading center of Sandman. Can we see if they have clam chowder for sale? Sure. I could definitely go for some nice chowder. Where did you say that was? I didn't quite catch it, but whenever we near there, just let me know. Yes, sir. I would love a pot of chowder. But oh, what I seek here in White Run, in case you're interested, is um, is a mage who could help me seek out an ancient magic of my people to control the elements of nature so that's why we're here Halt. City's closed with the dragons about official business only oh well, Riverwood calls for the Isles aid Riverwood's in danger too. You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. We had to lie. I don't quite have the time for that, but I promised Hadville we would get to the bottom of that. There's a nip in the air. Okay. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. It's coming down ahead. Good grief. Now, I was told I spent that he might the market stall so I can learn be in the Bandit Man, which this is the Bandit Man. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Those are College of Winterhold robes, aren't they? I'm not certain, but your name wouldn't happen to be Dominicus, would it? Alright. Excuse me, then. That looks like it. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Is your name Dominus? You look like a scholar. What's wrong? Maybe I could help you. Well, just let me know what's going on and send me in a direction you need help. Why come to Skyrim then? Because I, to my understanding, most Nords distrust the use of magic, much like my people. Oh. So then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of seal. Then, to my assumption, you must have found something during your studies and travels here. When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Did you find anything inside of the ruin?
fascinating what what was written in them and how might that be oh there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to white run from old Warwick stead and the braggart did swagger and as he told of gold battles and gold he had made. I'll be on my way then. I'll be happy to help you in exchange for acquiring some of your knowledge on these ancient magics as I'd like to learn about my people. Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our meat. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and good. And so then came I don't think that I have any gold. King and slash and steel as the brave last Matilda charged in full of sea. Ragnar named Ragnar was boastful no more. Could I have a seat? And drink some water. Eat some salmon. Head rolled around on the yes, floor. want a drink? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have a coin right now. Now please, no more questions. Oh, I apologize. All right, good one. Are you ready to get out of here? I contemplate staying here, but it's just so early in the morning. Foolish old man. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. And what of myself? Do I have anything worth selling? Not that I know of. I might have a few things. But I could benefit. That's good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white. Or have you got the for finest sale? weapons and armor? Alright. Yeah, nothing. That I could get well. At least don't have any value. Don't I forget need. to check inside the shop if you need anything. I think before we head out, good when we may stay one day in white run because I need to do some work <laughs> excuse me sir I'm looking for work do you know of any oh we'll get on it then two iron swords alright let's see if I can get the hang of it Two iron swords, he said. Do you want a short sword? Or a long sword? I think he might mean short sword. Well, I don't know. I don't have the materials. Do I? Iron Bob Sword. What about? Let me check the long sword. I have the materials for one, but not the other. That's a decent weapon you've made there. Oh, thank you. Oh, Give it my best shot. Need something? <laughs> you must have been talking about two. Oh. Do I have no coin? A 
Smith is out there. That is an unfortunate indeed. Rain's making my nose drizzle. I don't I believe that I made the two tents that we might need. No, I do not have a fur tent. I think we may as well carry that just to be safe. We have just enough to make it. <laughs> oh, good one. Got some good I hope I don't come down with anything. More inside. You know what? I'm right behind you. I'd like to give you some things. What do you want me to carry? I think you could benefit from this sword. And I don't know if you'd like this, but I, I guess I'll hang on to it for now. Alright. Looks good. You leave? Chilly. No, so just really feel like we need to make some money so that we can get appropriate gear for facing this way. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white. You orla need something? All I ask is a fair chance. Alright, where would you like me to pick up the delivery then. I guess she doesn't want me to do the job. Have you met my father? I He's guess. At the Dragon's Reach. While I'm still looking I for work. I work for Bellafield, the general goods store. Our kid. Was trouble in white run and I'll go up to. What is he? What did he call it? Dragon's Reach, I believe. And talk to the Yarl and warn him for Alva so that they can't have some protection in Riverwood. They are good people. Welcome to me, in. Alright. So we'll, we'll warn the Yarl. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. Who's this then? I apologize, I just have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. And also Alvar, he sent me from Riverwood, Hadvar's father, I don't know if you know him from the Imperial Legion. But Riverwood might be in danger. As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. I told you, a dragon attacked and destroyed Helgen. You know about Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach. Alright, thank you. Sorry for the misunderstanding. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yes, the Imperials were about to execute Ulfric, I believe, Ulfric Stormcloak. And then, right about that time, is when the dragon attacked. 
I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that the dragon is lurking in the mountains. Would view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Girileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here. Take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, Aye. my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Here we go, Kurdwin. My generosity is going to get us more jobs than we bargained for. But uh, I guess I am in no rush. And I'll do this favor. Firing for Alvar. I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Oh, just, just tell me what I need to do. You are eager to begin your adventure. Well, Excellent. I wouldn't the sooner say eager. begun, the sooner done, eh? I uh, oh, learned true. of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. All right, is there anything else that you could tell me about this Bleak Fall Barrows? An old tomb built by the ancient Nords. Perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. How can you be certain that the tablet is there? Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Alright. I don't know how quickly I'll have it back to you. This is a priority now. Anything we can use to fight this dragon or dragons. We need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Balguf. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. I guess we were working, looking for work. Kurdwin. I the guess. Gods watch over your battles, friend. Though I'm new to this land. And haven't been pro properly greeted with open arms, I guess you could say. That might be a bit of an understatement. But I guess I could do this land a favor. It's still coming down out there. Such beautiful architect, though, isn't it? More people had nothing like this. <clears throat> though I can't say that I prefer it. You can't deny yes. this isn't beautiful, though. Afternoon, sir. Uh Looks like 
making a trip. Really cool. Why does that sound? That's the place Had Vaughn tell me used to give him nightmares as a child. And what a coincidence. That's exactly where I'm headed. Alright, let's. What's the matter? You can't stand the Where's the general store? I need to see if I can sell a few things. And we'll stay the night at this inn. Or we might just rest for a few hours. How do you feel about traveling during the night? Where is the general store? Is this it? Alright. Find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Alright, thank you. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. <laughs> oh, I bet you would. Take a look. Let's see what you've got. Now first, let me show you what I've got. I hate to part with this cloak because I'd imagine I could really use it. Especially when winter rolls around. So we'll do our best not to have to sell that. What did the Yarl just give to me? Studded Imperial Armor. I do not plan on wearing armor. We got 23 gold. And I believe that should be enough to stay the night at the end. Thank you for your business. Do come back. Oh. Oh, come on, Kurdwin. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. That sounds wonderful. I'm telling you, I heard it howling. Those werewolf tales are true. That sounds terrifying, but I'd like to rent a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Oh, thank you. I'll show you to your room, right this way. All right. Oh, I'm following you. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Let me know if there's anything else you need. All right. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? All right, Kurt. They've got curved swords. It's curved the swords. Oh, there once was a hero named. I'm right behind you. All right. What is it? What do you need? Kill them, wake up here. You read? Yes, Mom. I'll find it. Alright. You talk and you lie, you <sighs> drink a lot of mead. Now I think it's high time that you lie. <sighs> you sleep well, Kedwin. I guess. Matilda charged in full of seal. I guess room service is not on the house. We'll go down and get some food. And we'll travel by night. Oh, it's packed in here. Drink to our youth. Are there you want a drink? What's depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. That depends. How much are you charging? <laughs> Let's see. Let me look at the menu. Don't need a water. I'll refill those in the stream. I will take a loaf of loaf of bread though if you don't mind. Thank you. No, please. No more questions. There is a college of Britain. Something? Huh? something? Huh? Yes. Alright, good. Let's have a bite. And a little entertainment. Some bread. Yes. 
some nice water. Excuse me. Make you excuse me, yes. Yes. Excuse me. Good evening. Excuse me. Drats, Kirkland. Still raining. Alright. Did you get enough to eat? That's a good idea. Get our torches out. like the rain's let up so that will definitely make traveling a bit more comfortable all right bleak falls barracks let's take a look at the map so i believe if we head the same way back to Riverwood and we just hang a slight right in the fork in the road it should put us right up the mountain pass yes good evening Stop in this stream. Refill some of our water bottles. Right. I guess we're good. up here. Good evening, sir. If you need potions, you should try Arcadia's cauldron. <laughs> so the companions live in an upside down boat. How did they ever get that thing all the way here from the shore? That's a good question. I didn't know that it was an upside down boat. But then again, I guess I never looked. Look at the sky, Kerdwin. Absolutely gorgeous. I've spent most of my life not really seeing a sky this open. Living in the Thick forest. Doesn't concern you, Valen Wood. Move along. Excuse me. Kevin, I hope this man doesn't think that we're chasing him. Because it looks to be part of the guard. Unless he's just off somewhere in a hurry. Maybe one of the detachments sent to Riverwood. No? I believe that fork's coming up soon. Just stick right. Pass it. No. Getting ahead of myself. I believe this is the way. Looks 
like a dead end now. Well, I guess not. Just the route less traveled, I suppose. Yours is a bit luckier. Alright. I thought that there was orcs crossing. I believe that's them in the distance. I remember Havel showing me. From, I believe we're standing just somewhere over there, outside of Riverwood. This looks to be some sort of tower. Lord Donbliss, the Justice Maker, is the primary deity worshipped back home. He's fair, kind, and caring. Really? That's neat. I think I'm going to put on my heavier cloak. It's a bit cold here. Right, not quite my style, but warm nonetheless. Oh, there's people up here. I wonder what they're doing. Oh, tread easy, good one. I think these are bandits. I've had a run in with him there. They're not gonna let us by without a fight, unfortunately. So, where I could, when I don't think they were getting by without a fight. Just, oh, I guess people here are just more violent. And I don't value taking lives, but it's kill or be killed. And I think that we do better off by getting the first strikes in. I think there's three of them. One seems to be an archer. So you said you were a healer now. Gotta be careful. I'm sorry, but you leave me no choice! I can hear the arrows whizzing by. right now I think that is important to maybe dual cast which is rash studies because okay see that's good too let's go with dual cast well see but this makes it stronger as well so we'll go with rash studies because I don't see us getting out of destruction magic anytime soon Maybe the occasional archery but um yeah all right we've been going all night i hope we take a break soon i think we're almost there goodwin just going to oh this armor looks pretty valuable you think that you could use it here yeah. still here what do you want me to carry? See if you'd be interested in this. Where is that? What 
where did I put it? Oh, I think that just looks silly. And I don't want to offend you. I know a woman likes the, you her leave? appearance. I'll follow. Alright. Let's see. Crossbow bolts. Studded armor. And a crossbow. I think. And I'll take that. Alright, let's see if they have any loot here real quick. When I believe we're almost there. It's freezing there. Chest. What's inside? Valuables. It's always good. Well, I believe we've lost direction. All right. I think. Oh God! Be careful. It's a steep drop. I didn't see it coming. All right, Kerwin. I think it's safe to say. We should set up camp right about here. I'll get a fire going. All right, let's get this tent up. This storm's getting fierce. Alright everyone, I'm going to end this episode here, um, next episode, um, obviously we will go up into Bleak Falls Barrows and see what adventures Tadriel and Kurdwin get themselves into there, um, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, um, I think it's really starting to take off and going in a different direction than I thought that it was going to go, I thought he would have completely ignored any other plea for help, but it seems Tadriel is more generous than we than we put him out to be. But um, so we'll see. We'll see what next episode takes us. Uh, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe to see more, and I uh, hope that if you're just now watching this one, you haven't seen the first two. I definitely check them out. Uh, very very interesting as well. Um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.